Hello, today I'm going to be testing a couple things called wire splice butt connectors. I'm designing an electronics kit for young kids, like 5 to 10 years old, so I'm trying to create ways to make connections without soldering. Of course, one of the most common ways to create connections without soldering is a breadboard, but I wanted something a little bit more permanent than that to interface with the breadboard. And what I found is something called a butt connector. There are a million different types of butt connectors out there, and a lot of them are very industrial and use crimping or heat sealing to make the connection, but I wanted something a little less permanent. So I found and tested three different kinds of butt connectors. The 3M Scotchlock butt connector, and then two types of lever nut butt connectors. So this video is gonna show a couple of different points in the last couple of weeks where I'm testing these different butt connectors on making connections. Okay, I'm excited for these things. The first one is by 3M, AKA Post-its. They have these wire connectors that are Pretty damn cute. And then I got more wire connectors. Hello! Whoa! I ordered a variety pack of these. So these have little clamps. How can I destroy this? Okay, so yes, I did wheel an anvil over. I wanted to do this on camera. <laughs> Thankfully, my now retired shop master, Ed, is a genius and puts his anvils on rollers so they're portable. I also brought a BFH. You can't figure out what BFH stands for. It stands for Big Freaking Hammer. And that's how I've decided to break this thing apart. Always use safety gear. That didn't work. It did work. Okay, so I'm pulling it apart. This thing is so cool. The mechanics on this thing make it so that it will make connections and release them indefinitely. It's an impermanent connection, which is really useful, especially in all these different sizes. This, this piece from 3M is interesting because it's a permanent piece and it's very simple. You put two wires in and then you press down really hard and they're crimped in there forever. This one's really cool because you can see inside of it and see what it's doing. But sometimes you need more than one connection. This one is designed for a solid copper conductor, which makes me wonder maybe it won't actually work with the types of wires that I'm using. And I don't know about this one. But I'm looking forward to testing both of these with actual wires and circuits. I'm looking forward to seeing if this works with non-copper wires. I don't know why it wouldn't. Okay, so I've had a chance to check out the butt connectors that I bought a little while ago and there have been some pretty interesting results. So, so these ones with the orange levers, they're called nut levers, which is a wonderful name. These have worked really well. Right now I have it set up with this little vibration motor and two jumper cables, and this works really great. The best thing about this is that it's a reversible lock. So if I just pull the lever back up, I can pull the motor back out or I can pull the jumper cables back out. I've actually ordered more of these nut lever bug connectors. God. I've actually ordered more of these nut lever butt connectors that are actually see-through online from a different company. Just because I think it'd be cool to see through the casing and at the metal connections that are happening inside. Now the wonderful thing about these nut lever butt connectors is that they come in two, and they come in three, and they come in five. So they're good for a variety of things. Like my mental model of this is that these are kind of like tiny little breadboards. Just like a breadboard, these create impermanent connections. And even though they're impermanent, they're rather solid and they're not gonna come apart. Now the other type of connector I got was the Scotchlock butt connectors. Now these Scotchlock butt connectors were advertised as for copper wires and I found that that's true. These don't do well with twisted wires with smaller wires. So the, for the purposes of Arduino prototyping, this is not a great tool. What I did find cool about these though, is that inside of these butt connectors, there's actually a glue, and it's used as a sealant for once this is connected so that it's waterproof. And once you smush down on the orange part, it collapses in, and then the sealant comes out around the wires, and they're not gonna touch water. This seems really useful for basically anything where you are using solid copper wires, but for smaller wires and twisted wires, like you frequently find with kind of like cheapo prototyping products, the crimp just doesn't touch. The crimp does not make a metal connection. So for you electronic prototypers out there like me, I do recommend these nut lever butt connectors. And if you're interested in picking up either of these types of products, I'll put links below to Amazon. By the way, thanks for using my affiliate links. 
Most recently, I picked up something from a company called Wago, and it's see-through, which is really great. So I did make a complete circuit with the Wago butt connector using just a battery and a vibration motor, and it worked great. I found that you don't even need the exposed wires to touch the metal pieces of the butt connector because when the lever nut is closed, it makes such a tight connection that it'll actually touch through the insulation. But the amount of metal that's exposed through the insulation is so negligible that I can't even catch it on camera. It's just kind of crimped. So for me, I'm going to move forward with using the Wago connector because it's see-through, because it works, and because it's impermanent and easy to use for kids, I think. So overall, what's the findings? I found that the lever nut butt connectors are the best for my use. They're basically like little two-pin breadboards, and they're even a little bit more solid of a connection than a breadboard, although still impermanent. I prefer the Wago brand because they're see-through, and I think that's really useful for educational purposes. The 3M Scotchlock butt connector, that really is only good for a solid copper wire, just like it says on the tin, so I really should have trusted them. I hope this was useful for you today. If this video was fun or informative at all, please hit that like button, and if you'd like to follow my future videos, hit subscribe. I upload new videos every week. Keep prototyping. See you later. That's it. I'm done. <laughs>